Um, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the August 9th, 2022 meeting of the Hatfield Select Board. Um, call the meeting to order, and as usual, I'll begin by reading our public partic participation policy. The Hatfield Select Board welcomes everyone to its meetings and all other public meetings of the Town of Hatfield. All regular and special meetings of the boards and committees of the Town of Hatfield shall be open to the public and shall conform to the open meeting law. Executive sessions are closed to the public and will be held only as prescribed by the statutes of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It is important to recognize that the open meeting law affords the opportunity to listen to the proceedings but not necessarily participate. During meetings of the select board, an attempt will be made to find a balance between hearing from members of the community and conducting the required business of the Hatfield Select Board. Uh, is anyone here for public forum? John, come on up. Good evening. I'm bringing here an article that was in the Daily Hampshire Gazette yesterday, written by a lady, informing the public of horses being ridden or led on a road and how she was confronted by a, a vehicle and making a lot of racket noises and everything and how the driver had the little disregard for her, her horse, or the other people that were leading or riding horses. And she has a chapter and verse here of Massachusetts state law. We all took driving lessons, read the book, and know what we should do with animals when we're approaching. Can be a draft animal, any kind. And I'd just like to present this to the, the secretary for, for notice. But in this community, there are people that do walk their horses, mm -hmm. ride their horses. A lot of trails now are being developed that they weren't years ago. So we have, can walk it along the road. Please be careful. We don't want to have any kind of accidents. Right. And also, a lot of farmers are harvesting tobacco, not only in our town, but other towns. Please slow down for these tractors that are moving slow. Get off your phones and other distracted devices and watch what's going on. Some of these drivers are young, doing a summer job. We all had summer jobs like that years ago. Hey, it's cool to ride a tractor, but be careful, please. Excellent I, point, John. Very excellent point. If I could add to that, which I've been saying pretty much at all of our meetings over the last year is, and people need to slow down. Mm -hmm. Not only distracted, distracted driving is an issue, yeah. but mm -hmm. people are going way too fast mm -hmm. in this community. A second issue was, I was talking with a gentleman recently uh, talking about his horses and so forth and his daughter was confronted by a person and she says you know very politely that this is a farming community that she can lead that horse down the road and everything like that but this woman was quite I guess arrogant to the fact hmm. so, so thank you good point thanks John thank yes you. I would I would echo John's um, concerns and urge everybody to slow down and be respectful of, I know the road, the road to my house, I often see horses. Um, there's a couple of people that have horses along the way. And so it's something, it, it, I actually see it frequently in town. So it is something worth repeating. Thank you, John. Um, anybody have any announcements? Did you have No, I mean, Elvis of Ray was good, I guess. There was a lot of people attending I that, missed it, so. and I'm incredibly bummed about that. Um, anything else? Uh, no, I didn't have anything. Thank you. So we just have, um, do you want me to make these announcements, Marlene, that appear on the sure. agenda? Thank you. Um, so we do have some vacancies on some boards and committees. We have a vacancy on our Council on Aging. Uh, we have one on our Agricultural Advisory Committee. Well, actually, now we have two. Two now. Now we have two, that's right. And Housing Committee, there's no number after that. What is the Housing Committee? Uh, four. <laughs> I think, is that four? Yeah, I think it's... It's a committee of five. five. Authority? Yeah. No. Not the Housing Authority. The Housing Committee that was created as a result of the housing plan that was oh. um, developed okay. back in 2014. 14, 2015. Okay. And then we have um, one opening on the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, which is an at-large resident um, uh, to be on there, which is um, that I'm on that committee. And it's it's actually a really um, 
interesting to co committee to be on because it's mapping out our larger purchases and projects for <laughs> they're mapped out way far in advance mm -hmm. um, so those are if, if you're interested in being on any of those committees there's information on the website you could certainly call town hall um, to get information about mm -hmm. those committees that would be great um, the open space and recreation plan um, the link to the survey can be found on the town website and copies are available in town hall there'll be a public visioning meeting in october and uh, a big announcement that the solar project at smith academy is active mm. something that's been years in the making with a lot of delays like a lot of solar Five projects um, but it is active and that's mm. exciting happy happy to hear that um, so those are those are some good announcements Okay, moving right along, um, the approval of minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the select board minutes from July 12th, 2022. Second. A motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, getting right into our posted business. Topic one is appointments and resignations. John Wilkes Jr. of the Finance Committee will... Um, We'll be appointing him to be the um, Finance Committee representative to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. I make a motion to appoint John Wilkes to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Second. A motion made and second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we have a resignation, um, sadly, for, for our Agricultural Committee, um, Member Bob Wagner. Um, We'll be resigning from that because he's he's moving out of town. Huge loss because Bob mm. has given a lot to that committee and, and planning board and, and various other committees. He's really been a, just such an asset here in town. So um, we're going to need to vote to accept that resignation. Yes, Bob, Bob Wagner's wisdom and guidance in this mm -hmm. town over the years has been exceptional. And it's going to be sadly missed, but it's a new chapter for him. Mm -hmm. I hope somebody will step up and be able to fill those shoes because he's been actually fantastic in this town trying to save the farmland and and keep a balance with industry so bob we're going to miss you but we also want you to have a great retirement so well said so was that a motion i'll make the motion to accept and his resignation it. with regret <laughs> and i'll second it and i echo all of uh, ed's statements bob certainly has been an asset to the community I, I'm, Numerous committees, for that matter, not just the agricultural committee. Very level-headed, thoughtful yeah. um, member of, of a lot of committees. So he has um, not stepped um, down from planning board. Yet. Oh, he hasn't. Okay, well that's good. So a motion's made and second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, next, we have approving the 2020. We also have another resignation, Madam Chair, mm. underneath Bob. Oh, the, we had an updated um, agenda. Yeah, I know, but know. I. It was Russell. Also Russell from the Ag Powell. Committee. Right. Oh, he's been on the uh, Ag Committee for a long time. Yes. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry. I guess I maybe I mixed up my agenda. So we have received another. Um, no, I have. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, another resignation, and that is from the also from the Agricultural Committee, and that is Russell Powell. Um, again, somebody who you're right has been really great on there. So, Okay. Yeah, and we've and, got it together now, people. Uh, yes, We're... and and so I would also like to commend Russell for for his years of service on the Agricultural Committee, um, and, and I get to speak to him regularly as as he walks by on his, on his morning walks. Um, but I, he's been involved forever, and I know there was something. Um, the Agricultural Committee in general has been involved with the murals that the students at Smith Academy used to paint that ended up being on the barns. And I know Russell was there and had people in and, and, and speak to, to various aspects of it. So again, another, another person who uh, has put their heart and soul into Hatfield and the Agricultural Committee and he'll be missed. So I will make a motion to acknowledge that resignation, sadly. I'll second it. A motion made and second. Any further discussion? No, no All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now we'll move along to the warrant for the 2020 state primary. Oh. Is that in the packet? Mm -hmm. I didn't. Oh, I don't. It is. I don't see that. What do you mean? In the packet. I didn't see it in the packet, but it must yeah, be in I the have signature it. I have folder. It. Okay. I have it in the packet All and right. the signature folder. Yep. 
just wanted to make sure it was in the So we just need a vote on this, correct? So I'll make a motion yes. to approve the warrant for the 2020 stew. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> warrant for the 2022 state primary. Second. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Just yes. so that people Which is know September and get 6th, under by Yeah, way. I was going to say it's September you. 6th, and polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. There you go. Okay, police officer assignments at polling places, um, and this is to authorize the chief of police to assign available police officers to cover the hours um, of the state primary that I just mentioned. Right, this is uh, pursuant to a new right. regulation. Um, yeah, we've never had to vote that before, right? No, we didn't, and um, actually I have it here. I'll make a motion to vote to authorize the chief of police to assign available police officers to cover the hours of the state primary on September 6, 2022. And I'll second that, but yeah, that must be something new because yeah. they've always had coverage. Right here, Chapter 54, Section 72, if you're interested, okay. town I'm clerk gonna, provided yes. this with me. So yes, it does say um, the board or officer in charge of the police um, shall vote um, the, the assignment, vote the assignment okay. to so the... Um, Okay, we can talk chief. about that later. I, I just don't get why we have to do this. <laughs> well, okay. It's not, it's whatever. Okay. You know me. It, it just doesn't seem, you know, all we're doing is giving the police chief the authority to assign police officers, which they've always done in the past. So there's got to be a, re, you know, it must be the new statute or something, but it just, it just seems a little crazy to me. But anyways, we're following the rules. So Ed made a motion, And right? I seconded it. Oh, you did? I thought okay. I did, but... Um, okay, motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And there's nothing we need to sign for that. It's just no, a vote. No, just the, the vote, and the town clerk will get a record of that vote. Okay, moving right along here, DPW report. We have a request for a water abatement at 108 West Street. Did you want to speak to this well, at all? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's an inactive account that was issued a minimum bill, so... The count is inactive. Do There's people that live there, aren't there? It's inactive. No, the meter's not installed. There's no meter in that property right now. They received the bill. They received the bill that they shouldn't have for a 75 minimum use, and there's nobody there. I'm going to make is a motion to accept the abatement of $96.13 no, no to okay. Jeffrey Busco at 108 West Street, West Half Moon. Mass based on the based on the fact that there's no meter there anyway. So, so so I'll second that, but I I do have a question, Phil. Yes. So, do we know if there was a meter at one? I point? think at one time there was. Okay. A meter. I, I mean, how else would property. we? Okay. But right now it's inactive. Nobody's there. And it's an inactive. And they meter received the seventy-five dollar minimum <laughs> bill charge, which is no, our normal. There's no occupants in. Then they got charged the interest on it. That's why that abatement is that. Got it. Okay. Okay. Mm. So I did second it, Madam Chair. Okay, so a motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? No. no. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next is a water abatement for 3 Prospect Street. This was discussed and voted on already. Yeah, so there's, after some discussion with the property owner, uh, you know, I guess it's, I don't want to say it's a hardship, but it's, I don't want to go into details about it, but obviously there was nobody there that could have checked anyways that the water had a leak in that back barn. So after discussing it for a while with them, uh, you know, I said that, you know, we would reconsider it and I would recommend that we give it to them. Yeah, so there is information that we were yeah. given with additional information about the situation. circumstances. Based okay. on the additional information, I don't have a problem okay. myself approving this. We would need, if we approve it, I guess we need two motions, right? One to rescind the last motion and then the second motion, if the board decides to approve it, would be to approve it on the second one, right? I would say I would say so, yes. yeah. Okay. So make a motion to rescind our 
Motion from the last meeting that denied the abatement. Second. The motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Now I'll make a motion to approve the abatement as requested based on the information we received for 3 Prospect Street. I'll second that motion. A motion made and second. Any further discussion? Well. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Phil. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, we did. We took care of that. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to bring up the drought. Uh, so yeah. the state's coming out tomorrow with a conference call about what's going on with the drought condition. So we would surely chime in on it, and we'll see where we're at because, you know, we, they keep saying rain, 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 and we haven't had a drop. So last night you had a little bit, but... Uh, so we'll see where that goes, and we'll have to set our sights if it's going to be a mandatory water ban. Right now it's voluntary. Correct. And people are complying, but with the hot weather over the weekend, I mean, right. we did spike. So, I mean, we're providing enough water, but if conditions don't improve, I can see that coming down the road shortly. Okay. Now, if there is a mandatory water ban, could you explain to the folks what specifically it'll is be, required? There will be no essential. I mean, it'll be only essential water use, nothing like watering your lawn, washing your cars. That'll be all banned. So it's a, it's a sad situation, I guess. You know, last year we had so much rain, and this year we have farmers are irrigating every day. So we'll see where it goes. But I even the long forecast for next week's just saying spotty showers. So. Yeah, they just always go around us. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, down south, the, the southern portion of Connecticut got it today. So, right. you know, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, well, you'll keep us posted. I surely will. And usually Tony's pretty good about yeah. communicating with us. Right. Stuff too. Okay, thank you, Phil. Thanks, Okay, Phil. Marlene, the town administrator report. Uh, just a quick update on our ARPA expenditures and revenue. Um, to date, revenue, um, we just received another payment last week, and the accountant has posted that. So total revenue that the town has received is $656,011. Um, $465,650 has been allocated for projects, and what we've actually spent um, to date is $264,942. And do we anticipate roughly another three hundred thousand dollars? Wasn't it nine hundred and something? It's nine seventy. Right. The, okay. Right. The total is nine hundred and seventy one thousand. They're releasing it. In do they give a projected date of the next release? Uh, no, I don't know what that is, but I could um, follow up with the accountant to see if she knows when the next payment yeah. will be received. I'm curious about that too. Okay, Marlene. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, our Mass Works grant, um, we have expended the uh, $2 million. Final report was submitted, and the Mass Works office has approved that report, and we received our final reimbursement. Reimbursement was requested, and we've received the, the payment um, last week. Nice. So that project is closed out. Um, okay, Great. thank you. Uh, Second floor bathroom renovations. So the specifications have been finalized and requests for quotes um, have been sent out. And um, hopefully we'll get that project underway shortly. Um, so that is just for labor. The town is going to cover the cost of materials. So that's to make that ADA compliant, it's the upstairs bathroom. I'm sorry, you may have said this. Did you say when, when those are due, the bids are due? Uh, I'd like the quotes re, um, by August 24th. Okay. Okay. And then we have a request to extend vacation extend time. Extend vacation time. Um, yes. this, can't, this comes from our building inspector, Kyle Scott. He's been unable to take some of his time due to the lack of an alternate for his position. Um, so does that need to be a formal vote that we roll that over? Um, I don't. I don't know that it has to be a formal vote. I, I mean, as long as the, the other ones. the board agrees and acknowledges we that did it, vote it agrees. No, I I don't recall. Yeah, I mean, we we 
discussed all of yeah. them. I don't know if it was and just an agreement or we actually voted on it. But. Talking to Kyle, he is planning on uh, taking two weeks vacation um, to travel out of mm -hmm. the country to see family. So, um, yeah, he'll be using, you know, a good portion of the right. time. Right, okay. A again, as with, you know, our request to everyone who's asked to roll some over mm -hmm. to really try to get that taken care, care of in of. the coming year so that we're not just constantly right. rolling mm -hmm. time over. Yeah, agreed. So if he could mm -hmm. be urged to do the same thing. I mean, it sounds like he's got plans already, so. Well, I think a lot of it that we've discussed in the past is trying to be you know, lenient with our employees who weren't able to travel or take time off due to COVID over the last two years. And, and you know, we, we seem as a, as a country, a world, I don't know, maybe Bob can speak to it better than I can, but you know, we're having the ebbs and flows, but it's, it's not like it was. And so people are able to get out more and do that. So we do encourage all our employees to take the time they're entitled to. And to quote my colleague, Ed Jaworski, <laughs> take the time that you're given so that you can, you know, clear your head and, and spend some family time and go away or s stay home, whatever. Um, but we, ca we can't keep... Uh, adding all these hours, you know, year after year. And I, I, I think this is, we're probably getting to the point where we're going to kind of put the brakes on it a little right. bit, barring any extenuating circumstances. But I, I, I am certainly in agreement to, to allow this. So. Okay. Particularly because he does have a plan to use most yeah. of it. Yes. Right. Okay. He yep. does. Okay. Okay. Um, can I just backtrack here? This, this liquor license, we just signed this, right? That's in here? We don't need to, this has already been... So. Yeah, it's, okay. it's come back again. Yeah. But, it, but okay. nothing is required from us. Just signing that. Just signing it, okay. Updated paperwork, right? Yeah, before that goes out. I okay, so next we I'll have the um, wastewater treatment plant upgrades project and the engineering services contract, which I do have here. Yeah, so that's an big project that we're going to be uh, starting. So this is the engineer services agreement. Right. And just requires the vote to accept the agreement. And this was all part of the money approved? And the chair assigned. Yes, The project has. approved by voters? Yes, the town has done a borrowing for it. Is Phil still here? He is here. And, and Phil and I have gone through this agreement. Okay, and this is, do we need to vote it? Yes. Okay, we, we vote, vote it, but it's just it. me that signs it. Correct. Okay. The only question I have on this, so does that mean the USDA stuff all got approved? That's a good question. Yeah. The only discussion with the USDA stuff has been approved, but they're waiting to see what their contribution on that site is going to be. As you remember, he said it was going to be 20% or something of the whole flow. Right. There was a recent email from, yeah. from Justin. So they're, they're still working with them. And but the but they've been cleared to go ahead yes. with the engineering and design work and I, I don't know if, if folks remember but um, you know as Diana alluded to the town meeting has already approved this mm -hmm. and, and part of part of this and getting it done completed early and submitted was to try to get the best rate possible um, right. Not only a grant, but the U.S. the um, interest rate. So mm -hmm. um, that that's where all this is sort of leading <clears throat> for the project. So I'll make. I'm not exactly sure what I'm calling this, Marlene. To be honest, is uh, this it the, is the engineering or, I mean, engineering and design services agreement with. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the engineering. Um, right. This is with David Prickett Consulting. Service right. agreement for the wastewater treatment. I'll second that. I just like to keep on top of this as far as approvals, making sure the project's moving, that's all. So I'll second that. Okay, so a motion made and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I just sign where it says owner? Yes, okay. please. You now I know, I own a sewer treatment plant. Treatment. Yeah. Nice. How do you like that? You. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> you did hit the lottery. <laughs> Take the cash instead. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been there. It has a nice view. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so the Comcast um, cable license renewal update. Um, this is just a notice, right, that there will be a public hearing? So just to, yeah, let the public <clears throat> know that there will be a public hearing on August 30th. That will be here in the conference room. Um, we finished negotiations, and a draft copy of the uh, franchise license agreement will be available very soon on the town's website, anybody who's interested in in reviewing that and that will be august 30th at 6 p.m p.m okay that's mm -hmm. just for people's information and then we had a little bit of discussion about the proposed connecticut river bike trail mm -hmm. which would be um, down on elm court um, and just to let everyone know the public forum date has been set for september 22nd at 6 p.m at the town hall um, and there will be some documents that will be made available in advance of that meeting mm -hmm. Um, and I, I know that there's a lot of people paying attention to that. So um, we'll make sure we make multiple announcements about that. Mm -hmm. and maybe we could even get something out on the website and maybe our social media mm -hmm. a couple of times so that people are aware of that. Uh, Madam Chair, if yes. I, may, I just back to topic seven for a second regarding sure. the Comcast cable license. I just wanted to publicly thank Marlene and John Novak. Mm -hmm. Um, for all the work and efforts they've put in mm -hmm. on behalf of the town and working with Comcast and Comcast attorneys and our attorney. So um, thank you both. Oh, I, you know, I, I know it. And, and Karen and, and everybody else who's involved with that, we appreciate everything you've done. So thank you. Really, it really highlights really what an asset John is, both from, mm -hmm. you know, what he does to... On both sides to, of the camera. On both sides of the camera, exactly. Um, you know, he, he's... We appreciate you, John. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want me to turn the camera around to you for a sec? <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and then our last item before we head into an executive session is the Historical Commission and Historical Society, a discussion of storage options for historical artifacts. I'm not sure who's, I, I know, I, I think you're all here for this discussion. I don't, I'm not sure who wants to come to the mic. Um, so we have, um, you know, there's been, as townspeople know, there's been a lot of discussion around the storage of our um, historical artifacts um, and uh, the best way to store them until we know exactly where they're going to be on a permanent basis. Um, and there's now um, a proposal from a storage um, company here in Hatfield on Elm Street um, with some pictures um, that look, you know, um, really great. The, the space is really great. Um, and uh, so I, I'll, I'll just turn it over to you to, if you wanted to say a little bit about this. Um, yeah, so as we know, we have the stuff in Benson's, we have the stuff at Five College. Um, Five College, I guess, has given us a deadline. Mm -hmm. We also have things that um, we accepted from Smith, the uh, Sophia Smith Furniture Collection, which is really an incredible um, donation that we could not pass up. Um, and that needs to, um, it, it's being stored by Smith at the moment. And they have given us a deadline of November 30th. So we really need to find places to put this stuff. I think um, what uh, Diamondback Properties, Tim Bachorek's place, has come up with um, is really a great option because it allows us, when we lost the space upstairs, um, that was being used as workspace because as we know, above the library, is there's just not any room to do anything and the environmental conditions are really not <laughs> acceptable <laughs> on some days. Um, so by leasing from uh, Tim, that gives us both a good storage option that is climate controlled. It gives the um, people who work on the collection, uh, many of whom are volunteers, bless them, uh, you know, a place to work and um, Access really to bathrooms. Do, and yes, access to a bathroom. You know, we really do have an important collection. It is important to the town. It is our history, and I, it is our duty to protect it. Um, and so this is, um, it's, it's climate controlled and it's secure, which is yes. really important. Yes. So if, can I just ask, there's, there's different options here. Mm -hmm. Is there one that is your preference? Um, 
I am going to turn that over to Bob. Do you want to speak to that? Because these are the guys who actually do okay. the work. So. Bob, you want to come up to the mic? I actually uh, viewed all of the three options uh, at Diamondback, but also all the other options that we, some of them we didn't put on this list mm -hmm. just because they were totally unacceptable for storing, uh, you know, just insecure, uh, uh, at risk for flooding and uh, moisture and no climate control. But uh, as far as the uh, uh, ones that uh, they're offered by, on Elm Street by Diamondback, there are three options. The most reasonable one was unit number 117. Mm -hmm. And it actually is a flexible space that Tim is willing to carve out of a very large finished space. Uh, it would be two bays or two bents of the facility. It is on the first floor. It is immediately adjacent to a loading dock, which makes it very convenient to get items in and out safely. Um, there are, uh, uh, the building itself has security and cameras all over the place. I think from the perspective of the town, you know, with our valuable collection there, we would probably need some additional uh, security, whether it's a small camera, it's a, you know, a alarm system that could be used in addition to the larger security system in the facility. Uh, if you're familiar with it, it's huge, it's a sprawling facility, um, but it's solid, it's uh, uh, the owner has put a lot of money into refinishing it and with concerns about uh, climate control and safety. So uh, just reviewing all of the ones that we looked at, um, you know, I think one of the pictures that we do have here were of the um, Benson storage. Right. And uh, things are just piled on top mm -hmm. of each other. Right. And literally, it's been in there for three years. Right. And we haven't seen right. it. Right. No, we, we, we understand and, that. And so, we Mike, saw but loss. just, Bob, <laughs> to get the, back to my question. Yeah. So, there's three options here. Um, which is the option that you're looking for? I think 117. One, the first yes, option. Yes, that's the one okay. that uh, he's going to, uh, he's willing to enclose, block off. Uh, two separate bays for our use. Uh, it would be a, a large open space, so we have a lot of flexibility to mm -hmm. arrange the items in and a now safe have access. way. And, and well, 117 also take the furniture you're you're going to be getting. Okay, that would be. It would take everything, right? 117. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and uh, and we, that's the one on the first floor with the, the loading dock. On the first floor, dock. correct. Okay. Yeah, the other, other one, uh, I think it's number 102, is on the first floor. It includes heat. It's finished. It also has a loading option. But the price is much higher, and it doesn't offer us any more for our needs. Whereas, you know, we're looking for safe storage with good access. May I? Mm -hmm. So, um, but it is a little bit larger. So, if, if, if all I would say is, if if there's people, in, if, if you're envisioning growth mm -hmm. or needing more area, I mean, it, it's 30 square feet. I don't even know if that's negligible or or worth something. You know, for that larger space, I I don't know the answer. But I, you know, I I don't know what if you guys have even had that conversation. I mean, it's. Yes. You know, it's a the difference is um, about one hundred and fifty dollars a month, right? So times twelve. So is it is it worth that increased 
amount for, for potential growth or would it be something, and you guys probably didn't even get into this, or is it something down the road if there's space available you would go from one unit to the next or, or add on, you know, I, but I don't I just, know. Uh, but if you read the, the difference between the two, the, the one that they want does not have this language. The one you're referring to has extra language that says the unit shall be leased um, in as is condition and any modifications needed are to be funded by the tenant. Um, that's not in the one above it. So is that? Um, that's mm -hmm. because the, the 650 is already finished, completely finished. It is finished. It doesn't need anything else. Need it's it. actually the more finished space. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I, I read it totally different than that. But yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it's nice. I mean, if we have the budget, I think that would be. A, that's the better one. That would be very, very nice. Well, the difference would be roughly $2,000 a year. Yeah. Difference. Yeah. Per year. That's, I mean, I'm, I, I, by the same time, we don't want to get something that isn't really necessary, but if there's a potential for it, and, and, it, and if 30 square feet makes that much difference potentially, then, I mean, you, you don't have to decide. Well, maybe you do yeah, have to, but, oh, no. you know, I, I'm not trying to muddy the water, but it's like, let's just get it right the first time because we've been- $150 we've been, a month. We've been waiting this long. <laughs> you've been waiting this long and we all, yeah. we, we want to get to the finish line and right for $150 a month. And the access is about the same. I know you know, you had mentioned the loading dock and everything, but the it access, the loading dock okay. Access. Okay. Uh, and uh, I can let Meg speak to, uh, we figured out what we needed for storage for the entire mm -hmm. collection as well as for the addition for the Smith College collection so right. uh, I mean I'm pretty clear on it I don't know how you guys feel I, if you want to speak to it but of either one or two so I mean mm -hmm. or 117 or 102 whatever we're calling it I guess I would okay. yeah and, and I agree with you get the bigger whenever one. I look get at the a project, bigger one that's completely one. done and ready to go that doesn't need okay yeah. That, that would be. Uh, Ed, did you want to? Well, I, I think this is a perfect solution for short time for the next couple of years. I think it makes nothing but total sense. And it gives you the capacity to bring everything together. And it's an obscure environment. I, I, I like the idea. I just want to make sure you have enough of space, as Brian mentioned, and that you're getting what you know you'll, it'll be expandable the next couple of years as because I know the future goal, hopefully, would be a house well, as a museum. I guess that might be down the road. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But that's those rumors. But anyways, I think this is perfect for now, yeah. and it it covers all bases, and it might make everybody happy. Well, and it I, buys some time. It gives you access. It it keeps it safe. It allows you to work on the collection. It's a Hatfield business sure. <laughs> that we're supporting, and. Yep. And I just wanted to add that this has been a long, arduous process for all of us, but for you guys in particular. But I think the silver lining is the space ultimately is the best space that is available versus partially here, partially there, partially over the, you know, it's all, it, it can all be in one spot. It can all be worked on. It's parking. It's it's heated. It's air conditioning. You know, there's no air conditioning upstairs. The so security I think is it, attractive to me as I well. Think getting here was the hard part, but I think now, you know, hopefully this is this is the way forward. So uh, I'll make I'll make, I guess you need us to make I make a motion to approve the funding for um, Unit 102 at Diamondback Properties. No, but. 102 is the larger one that you said is already done. But to, appro to approve the funding, we, we should have a well, funding we have source. We'll, we'll have, have to, to go to, to come out of facilities right. or something and then next town meeting, we're going to have to. Well, I mean, I would suggest we try to use ARPA funds, maybe have a discussion with the finance yeah, committee the about using ARPA funds for mm. this. Okay. Well, we can make Since that decision money, ourselves. Did, Okay, because that, that was going to be could. my next question is where did this go? I think Tim was hoping to have an answer by August 31st. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that can happen. When do you expect that you might be able to begin the process? I mean, you'd want to probably get it done over the next few months, right? During the fall oh, before yeah. winter moving, kicks in. I think we would want to start moving okay. things, you know, as soon as we can. Um, do you want me to speak to that? Um, sure. I just, uh, one more. So like I said, you know, we were hoping yeah. to get back to Tim by the 30th okay 30 uh, august 31st if possible That's did i did i make my motion on the proper unit is it yes. unit 102 
Yes. I'm, I'm not clear. I'm just going by the. Um, it's the larger, and it's it's available sooner. Correct. Okay. And the issue is that the the larger one that's available now is a slightly <coughs> higher price, and it's the 620 square feet versus unit 117. No, this is you've got it the backwards. It's, it's been a very <laughs> long, several days. It's Bigger. We're all using the bigger that. We're one. All using it's that available. <laughs> I know. It's if I'm reading this correctly, it's the bigger one, and the it's available on right away. Basically, that one is available right away. And as the as your curator for your collection, I would love to do that because that would allow us to begin moving things out of Benson's right away. Right away. Okay. okay. So I made a motion. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll second a motion, and I may suggest. I think this is great. I mean, I also suggest we look at possibly maybe using some of the ARPA funds to get this moving along so that we can do that so and and get this resolved so okay so that. we're going to take a motion first on approving um this this move yeah. okay so okay. a motion made and second any further discussion no no all those in favor aye. aye i'll make a motion to approve the funding through june 30th of 2023 to be paid for out of the arpa funds june i'll second 30th. that it's August 31st of 2024. Until June, th we'll pay for it until June 30th. <coughs> with the ex my expectation would be that at town meeting we'll have this conversation. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? So, so from August through June, we'll pay of for it out year. of next year. We'll pay for it out of ARPA funds. Yeah, this just has to do with how it's being paid for. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I'll second that. Okay. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? No. No. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And. Uh, Work so hard. I know. You all have. Does the dog come with it that's in the picture? Yeah. Actually, I know this dog. I know this dog, and he's very sweet, actually. Thank you for all your work on this. <laughs> so Appreciate it. No, we're done. We, we've already approved the funding. Oh, okay. The funding has been approved through June 30th, so we need to keep that on the radar screen to make sure that that's dealt with in the next budget process. We, we do like budget to work cycle. with the Finance Committee on, on projects, but given the time factor here, and it is within our purview as the select board to make that decision, then, that's uh, why we've approved it. The last question is uh, who, when Tim makes up the lease, it is to the town, or this is from our Oh, I guess between the town and then, I don't know. Right, Marlene? Right, it would probably right. be the town of Hatfield. Probably either the board or I would sign that, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 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 If Tim has good. any questions, he can contact me, Amy. Thank you for your yes, diligence you and creativity in finding this yes. solution for now. Okay. Okay, so that actually concludes the um, regular meeting portion of this evening's agenda. So um, I'll take a motion to go into executive session. I'll make a motion to go into executive session under Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A2, to oh. conduct strategy sessions in <coughs> preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining with non-union personnel in the DPW and not return to open session. I second that, and Jaworski, aye. Moriarty, aye. Zinal, aye. Good night. Thank you, John. Be later. I had estimated.